By the way guys check the links in the description and down below in the comments for other airport travel guides all right so we're doing an arrival here into Changi at midnight from Bali, flew business class on Singapore Airlines because first class doesn't really exist anymore. Well, if it does, it's basically been replaced by business class, which is the equivalent in my opinion. Last time I did an arrival video here, it was quick. This one's taking a bit more time to walk. So this is Terminal 3, in case you're wondering about the Jewel, that is Terminal 1, and the only way you can visit the Jewel is to actually leave the airport. Because even though it's at the airport, you have to go outside the actual concourse. Train. Busy airport, twelve twenty PM. Flight was two hours. Sky train. like it's going to be fast. I have to fill out the form. SG arrival card. SGAC I'll show you before you arrive. If you don't do it before you arrive, you have to do it at one of these stands. So they're Singapore residents, but I'm a foreigner. That's what you need to fill out. That's the website. This is as of 2022, December 2022, going into 2023. So, hopefully you find that out. 
Okay, so we just went through immigration. They take your picture, two thumbprints, and you have to show them your card, your uh, SG arrival card. And here I am, gonna have to collect my baggage from right here. Here comes everybody. But I do need uh, a bathroom. Where's the bathrooms? I don't know. I also need a SIM card. It's going to be coming on this one here. Terminal 3 doesn't have a bathroom. That's impossible. I mean a bathroom in the baggage claim area. Seems like Terminal 3 is actually where Singapore Airlines arrives from, or into. Hmm. Ah, toilets. They do. They're just way back there. kind of gone away from carry-on only, but this took about 10 minutes. Here's my new bag, small one, and it can actually do carry-on. They allow you two bags, it's small enough. But anyway, we're going to go through customs here. I got to turn off the camera again. Okay, so they do have SIM card here. Uh, I got randomly picked to do a customs check. It's not everybody, it's just random. We got a World Cup game going on downstairs. So you can hear people going a little bit crazy. I gotta do a currency exchange. The first SIM card one I checked was very expensive, so we're gonna try here. It was fifty dollars for seventy days. So much is this? Hello. How much is a uh, SIM card for seven days? Yeah, this one fifteen dollars. Oh, fifteen dollars. Yeah, much better price. Okay. So I did get the SIM card. It was fifteen Singapore dollars for a week, better than the fifty. I don't know what makes the $50 SIM card so much better than the $15 one. Now we are catching a taxi. The Spain-Morocco game is going on. It's one nothing Morocco. Or actually Portugal-Morocco. Let's see how this works with the taxi. I usually take the train, but it's midnight. I don't think it's going. Ben Coolen. Number four? Okay. Singapore has many underground cities, I would call them. This one here is an orchard. You can basically connect to all the buildings by this underground passageway that interconnects using the MRT. It's really quite nice because when it's hot up top, you just kind of stay cool under the ground. See, this is Orchard Road, Scott Road. See if we just go up here, real easy. We're already under Scott Avenue there. And we're in now Shaw Plaza. 
And I could go across the street on Orchard and end up at Ion Plaza. Orchard probably has the most intricate underground tunnel or city. You could also use the crosswalk, but it's much easier to just go underground like this. See? It'll take you right across the street instead of having to go across the crosswalk. Just use the underground. 